What's up YouTube? This is LDS Reliance. Today I wanted to do another video in the series on the rain catchment that I've built, uh, this rain catchment system, and how, how I'm going to get water out of this IBC tote and use it um, for my garden or for whatever purposes I have. So I had to build this do-it-yourself uh, fitting here to convert from the tote into a usable format which will be a garden hose. Okay. Here we have the IBC tote that collects my rainwater, as you've seen in my rain harvesting videos, rain catchment videos. So what we want to do is we're going to create an adapter that converts from this little two inch ball valve that uses PVC pipe thread, and we're going to convert it to, you, to a standard three quarter inch garden hose um, type of a faucet. Okay, these are the pieces that we're going to need for this build. The first piece is a, is a female to female adapter and it's got the two inch threads on the one side that will attach to the ball valve and then it's just got a, a slip fit on the other side. I will put the part numbers for these on in the description of the video but I got these from Home Depot. You can pretty much get them anywhere. Now this is the next piece. This is a um, two inch to three quarter inch um, uh, let's see, bushing is what it's called. It's not an adapter, it's, it's called a bushing. So anyway, it's, it converts from a, a two inch that slips over the top here and then goes into three quarter inch, um, which will be able to screw on to the last piece, which is this uh, three quarter inch um, garden hose faucet. Um, it's, it's a, let's see. A hose bib is what it's called, but it's got these threads here, and they thread into this this piece. Now you're gonna want, we're gonna want to use some Teflon tape too, and then we're also going to need some PVC uh, cement. So I'll show you that next. Okay, next we need to use uh, two different products. There's the primer, which goes on first, and then the actual cement that goes on last. So what we're going to do is we're going to use the primer and coat the inside of this slip fit connection as well as the outside of this connection. So we'll go ahead and do that real quick. A little bit goes a long way of this stuff. And this dries really, really fast, so. Just like that. And then we'll wait a couple minutes, two or three minutes, and then we'll put on some of the cement. Okay, now that that has dried, after a few minutes, we will take the cement and we'll put a little bit in there and then attach them together. Sorry, I'm trying to get all this on camera. Let's put it on this part. And then just simply push this in. And probably need to use a little mallet to kind of help it get snug. I went and grabbed my dead blow hammer, hammered it in. There's just a little bit of gap, but that's because um, this thing's already bottomed out on the inside. So don't don't force it. Just uh, get it get it good enough. This thing's not going to leak once this is dry. So the next step is I'm going to put some Teflon tape around these threads, and then we're going to screw it into the three quarter inch uh, female hole there. Okay, that's good enough. 
So I did like a double double layer there. And then we're going to take this threaded hole there and screw this in until it's nice and snug. I'm going to go ahead and grab a wrench that fits around that and keep going until it's all the way bottomed out. Okay, here's what we're left with. Um, I think I might be able to get it another half turn or so, but uh, this should be good enough. I didn't want to get it too close to the edge here or I wouldn't be able to, to turn the knob. Um, so here's what it looks like. Let's clean out this uh, these threads here that little pieces of plastic that got mutilated there a little bit and uh, let's go test fit okay now I wanted to show you this um, um, just for full disclosure I had to put an adapter another adapter onto my ball valve that you didn't see earlier in the video this is a uh, a cam uh, connector it it basically clamps around the piece that I had this this ball valve had a kind of an indentation over here and this kind of clamps around that edge with great force and then converts it to this two inch national pipe thread um, most of you will not need to do that most most fittings off of these IBC totes are uh, some sort of uh, two inch national pipe thread or some other um, I believe there's a I can't remember the other thread, but it's pretty rare. So most of you won't have to do this, but I just wanted to show you this um, for full disclosure that I did have to change mine slightly. And I'll put a link to a, a good site that you can kind of try to identify what type of connector you have and, and be able to order the, the right kind of adapter because I had a lot of confusion trying to figure out what, what I needed to do. So the next thing that I wanted to show you is is how much pressure this thing is under. It's, it's very full, and so as... Um, uh, open the the valve it's it's going to come shooting out so you want to make sure that your that this adapter that we've built that the valve is closed and uh, so that when you when you open the ball valve this thing isn't going to start shooting all over everywhere so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to tighten this on here nice and snug you do not want to put Teflon tape in between the the two plastic pieces. I've read that that's that's bad, but just tighten it up snug and it shouldn't leak. Okay, I've got it uh, snugged on there tight, as tight as I can get with my hands, and that should be plenty uh, tight enough. You don't really need to go to work on this with a big wrench or anything like that. So now when I open this ball valve, there's no leaks, nothing's happening. Doesn't sound like, but now I can open up this valve and get water. So there you have it folks. Um, you can attach a normal style garden hose to this and you may want to angle it a different way because it, it may be a little hard to get a garden hose up under here and tighten it off. You may want it to face uh, horizontal to the ground. It might be easier for it to work with but um, this will work. It doesn't leak. It's, uh, it's nice and tight. And uh, this is the way that you can convert um, your, your water storage, if you've got one like mine, into usable um, water for your garden or landscaping or, or whatever you've got going on. So thanks for watching, guys.